Shang Wang Shang Wang. Call Hung Lang Lagi Halaba Shimi Hau Shai. Ba Shem Rakakwadash. Double nods to the elders and elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well Shang Wang to the whole foot let. The hundred and forty four thousand and one third remnant of the whole foot let men, women, and children Shang Wang. All right. Rock a thumb. All right. This is the brother Gabari Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit of Barney Habas and Yon Shai. Go ahead and tell the fire and the faith and let's see Habas and Yon Shai. Praise Let's be able to find it straight to the point. All right. And I got a couple of things I want to show, man. All right. So, hey. <laughs> this place is through, man. Babylon is circling down the drain, man. Okay. All right. Let's read this. This is from uh, PNW, all right, which is a uh, prophet. Prophecynewswatch.com it says state of the nation. Alright. Debt addition and a pos and a pos state. Alright, let's get that. It says in all of human history has there never been a society more gut gutness than our own. Alright. Let's go to this word. Let's define this word. <laughs> Gutness, gutness. All right, let's let this load up. Look at this word. <laughs> well, well, well. Gluttonous. Gluttonous. All right. It says excessively greedy. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And people nowadays are greedy, man. All right. Let's get some. Uh, it says greedy. All right, what's this word here? Gourmandize. Gourmandize. Eat, f eat good food, especially to s, especially to excess. All right, really you ain't eating good food in Babylon. All right. Voracious. Voracious. Waiting or devouring great quant quantities of food. All right, and these people. All right. You ain't really devouring no great food, man. All right. It says, ins was that? Inst was that? Insatiable. Insatiable of a person having an insatiable appetite or desire for something, especially sex. All right. These people addicted to, especially all women, man. All right. Riding the cock carousel. All right. Hoarders. All right. Wolfish. <laughs> Res resembling or like to a wolf, especially in being rap was that rap 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 all right. No words, um, man, that's a lot of, these are some hard words, man. Anyway, but you see, piggish, piggy, all right. But basically, it just means greed, man. All right, greedy, all right. So, hey, there you go. Let's go back to the article. All right, gutness than our own. All right, let's read this again. It says, in all human history, there has never been a society more gutness than our own. We are addicted to sex. We are addicted to drugs. We are addicted to shopping. We are addicted to eating. Yeah, and this is all by design, man. We are addicted to entertainment, but our biggest addiction of all may be money, which they're about to get rid of, by the way. All right. Even though we were hand, handed the keys to the greatest economy, mach, economic machine the world has ever seen, it has never, it ha, was never enough for us. We always had to have more, and so we have to, and so we have run up the largest, simple mountain of debt. <laughs> yeah, in the entire history of the planet, and that's true, man. All right. And that's which brings me to this. <laughs> All right. You see it right there, man. In the red. The U.S. national debt. 33 trillion, 45, all right, billion, 190 million. All right. And you see it. And you see it keep going up, man. Keep changing. So there you go, man. So this place, 33 trillion dollars in debt, man. All right. The brother I'm a one uh Gabar did a lesson on this, man. All right, GMS Awakening 144. He did a lesson on this. Our day, the national debt is now at 33 trillion dollars, man. So hey, yeah, that's a fact. 
And it's, hey, this place is on the verge of collapse, man. This place, Babylon, the Great America, is circling down the drain. And this is debt that uh, Babylon, the Great America, is not going to be able to pay back, man. Okay? Heavy debt, man. All right? That thick clay that is spoken of in half of the second chapter. All right? So, why don't you see that? Let's go. Let's continue to read on. It says, if you can't believe it, on Monday, the size of the U.S. national debt crossed it, crossed the $33 trillion mark for the very first time. And that's true. We just saw it. All right? Just showed you. All right? And also, I posted that in my community section, man. So, hey... <laughs> Babylon the Great is done, man. This place is circling down the drain. If you still got hopes in this place, this place is going to continue on forever, then you're a fool, man. You're stupid. Babylon cannot be healed. Babylon, as you know, is falling, okay? It's falling, all right? Let's read a little bit more. It says the U.S. national debt topped $33 trillion for the, very, for the first time ever on Monday, all right, which was... This Monday passed, man. Today is Wednesday. We're about to end into Thursday. Crossing a critical milestone at a time when government spending is already under scrutiny. All right. And they already talking about another shutdown. Excuse me. Another government shutdown. All right. So, hey, <laughs> shit's about to get crazy out here, man. The national debt, which measures what the U.S. owes its creditors, <laughs> hit 33 Point oh four trillion dollars as the as of Monday afternoon, according to new data published by the Treasure Treasury Department. By comparison, just four decades ago, the national debt hovered around nine hundred and seven billion dollars. Yeah, that was decades four decades ago, forty years ago, man. All right. Today is at thirty-three trillion dollars, man. So <laughs> there you go. This this place, look, man. Babylon, the Great America, is through, man. This place is done, okay. And you notice that number thirty-three, man. And that number thirty-three is affiliated with this. All right, I looked this up. That Masonic number, man. All right, that's that Masonic number. All right. I'm not gonna go too deep into this. You can look this up for yourself. All right, I just wanted to show that. All right, I'm not gonna go too deep into that. But let's get back to the article, man. So hey, <laughs> that number thirty-three is a uh, hey a Masonic number, man. All right. So this place is on a downfall, man. This place is on a downward spire. Babylon the Great is through, man. Okay. This place is circling down the drain. Okay. Let's read a bit more. It says, I don't know. I don't know if I even have the words to describe how reckless our leaders have become. <laughs> it took from the founding of our nation all the way up to the 1980s for the national debt to reach one trillion dollars. Damn. That's hey. <laughs> wow. So hey. And that's debt that this place is not gonna be able to pay back, man. Okay? But now we have added a trillion dollars to the national debt in just three months. <laughs> three months, man. And then, yeah. And thanks to rising interest rates, interest payments on our debt are project to increase at an, expon an exponential rate in the years ahead. We ain't got years ahead, man. This place, look, this economy is about to crash, man. Okay? They're about to, hey, hit the reset button, man. All right? That's part of this global reset, man. All right? To start things over. All right? This place is about to crash. The economy is it's tank, man. This economy is about to tank. Okay? It's over with. We ain't got years. We ain't got years. All right? We ain't got years left in this place. This place is done. And it's just a matter of time before, hey, the economy crash and they bring in their new digital system, man, which is going to start off with the CBDC, okay, which is going to lead to the MOTB, which is the forced implementation of the C hip, man, okay? And we are very, very close to that happening, man, okay? In fact, interest payments on the national debt are project to be 
projected to be fast fastest growing part of the federal budget over the next three decades, according to the G according to the C R F B. And like I say, we ain't got three decades left. We ain't got thirty years left in this place, okay? All right, that's Esau just you know pushing this, you know, just trying to push his kingdom up, man. We ain't got we ain't even got that left. This place is done. Payments are expected to triple for nearly four hundred and four hundred and seventy five billion in fiat and fiat years twenty twenty two to a stunning. One point four trillion dollars in twenty twenty three sorry twenty thirty two by twenty fifty three <laughs> see what I mean? He's all trying to push his kingdom up. Thinking this place got gonna be here around look, America ain't gonna be around in twenty fifty three or twenty thirty two, let alone that. Okay? This place is over with, man. All right, by twenty fifty three. The interest payments are projected to surge to $5.4 trillion. To put that into perspective, that will be more than the U.S. spends on Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and all other mandatory and dis dis discretionary spending programs. Which they're going to get rid of all of that shit anyway. Okay. Of course, we are far from alone. At this point, total global debt exceeds three hundred trillion dollars. Three hundred trillion dollars, man. Global global debt hits a record US of three hundred and seven trillion dollars in the second quarter of the of the year despite rising interest rates, curbing bank credits with markets such as the US and Japan driving the rise, the institution of International finances said on Tuesday, September 19th. The Financial Service Trade Group said in a report that global debt in U.S. dollars turns have risen by U.S. $10 trillion in the first half of 2023 and by U.S. $100 trillion over the past decade. All right. So, hey. This place is in heavy debt, man. Okay? This place is in heavy debt. It's over with. Alright? Alright? People addicted to drugs. Alright? The trank. Alright? All this shit, man. Fenton. Uh, what's that? Fentanyl. What's that other one? Uh, opioids. Which is really affecting these Edomites now, man. Alright? It's affecting them. And food and shit. All right, I'm quite sure y'all seen the videos of these jakes, all right, chomping down on these, what, 50 cent burgers from McDonald's and uh, was Wendy selling their hamburgers for one penny? Man, you jakes are stupid as hell, man. All right, and of course, they talking about, uh, you know, the this whole alphabet lifestyle. I'm not going to read all of this, man, but hey. It goes to show you, man, this place is on a downward spiral, man. Babylon is just, look, the only thing that's left to happen to this wicked-ass queendom is to be destroyed, man. All right, I'm not going to read all of that. I'll put the rest of this in the description box if you want to read it, man. But, <laughs> hey, Babylon the Great is through, okay? This place is done. It's on its way out. Let's get some scriptures. Let's go to, let's go to, uh, let's start at Jeremiah chapter 51, and we're going to read verse 6 to 9, okay? The book of Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord Yahweh Shehoshah's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, and this is what's about to take place, man, all right? Now, when it means flee, it don't mean literally flee. I right? get a passport and just get on the hop on a plane and, you know, leave, man. It means spiritually detach yourself from this place, man. All right? Spiritually get your mind out of this place because this place is about to go up in smokes. This place is about to melt with fervent heat, man. All right? Pertaining to 2 Peter's the third chapter. Okay? All right? 
This place is going to be pelted by 200 million missiles. And, of course, the laser beam fired from the chairs of the Lori Habash Yon Shai. This place is done, man. All right, the Lori Habash Yon Shai is about to get this place exactly what it deserves. Destruction. All right, that fire is coming, man. Okay? Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lori Habash Yon Shai's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, these nations are moving away from the petrodollar, all right? And you have another country that just joined the BRICS nation, that's Indonesia. All right, Indonesia has just joined uh, the BRICS nations now, man. So these nations are moving further away from the petrodollar now, okay? Which means <laughs> pretty soon you ain't going to be able to go to the store with your fiat currency, man. The petrodollar is through, man. Okay? That paper money, that monopoly money you have in your wallet and all that shit, all that shit is about to be done away with, man. Okay? They got to crash this old system out to usher in their new digital system, man. Okay? And this is part of the elite's plan. Okay? Verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. No bomb, no medicine can heal this place, man. All right? I don't care what new president you get in the White House, which we might not see in another election, no way. We might not have an election next year. All right? All right? Hopefully, we ain't going to be here next year, Lord willing. All right? But nevertheless, man, but hey, things happen in times, man. But hey. How about Shimei Oshai says to watch, man? We don't know the day and the hour when he's coming, but we see the signs and we know that, hey, we're damn close, all right? We're near, all right? How about Shimei Oshai? It's about, hey, he's about to come back and destroy Esau Edom, man. He's about to take these devils out of power, man, okay? Esau, hey, <laughs> and hey, the elites of East Edom, they ass going into captivity, man, along with the heathens, man. And two-thirds of you wicked Israelites that follow after these damn devils, you're going to die on this side, man. Okay? You ain't going to be reborn back into the kingdom of heaven. But you're going to be in your right minds, though. Okay? All right? Especially these bug-out jakes that's talking about, all right, that one bug-out jake that many brothers done did a lesson on. Talking about he Jonathan. He's King David. He's King. He's the house of David. He's the house of Saul. He's this. He's that. He got spiritual powers. <sighs> It's just time for the Lori How About Shion Shai to do a great calling, man. All right? C-U-L-L-I-N-G. Calling. A great slaughter. And that's what's about to take place, man. That's the only thing that's left for two-thirds of you wicked Israelites, these heathens, and these Edomites, man. Okay? It's to call the herd, man. Okay? All right? A lot of death. A lot of destruction, man. Okay? Verse 9, we will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. The sins of this place have reached into the ears of the Lord. How about she, y'all shy, man? Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. All right? The debt of Esau Edom has reached into the ears of you. How about she, y'all shy? This place is done, man. Okay? Let's go here. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also, because he because he transgressed by wine. What's that wine? The philosophies, the alphabet lifestyle, feminism, women's liberation, women over the men. All this shit is about to change, man. Okay? He's a proud man. Who's this talking about? Esau, even a so-called white man. Neither keepeth at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heaven unto him all people. Verse 6 Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? To, and to him that laid himself with thick clay. What's that thick clay? Let's go to my little Bible. Right, let's open it up. And we're going to look up the word thick clay. All right. For edification. All righty. Uh, Habakkuk. Here we go. 
chapter two. Let's read this in uh let's read this first in the good news. It's not, not in the good news, but in the NLT snarky, the New Living Translation. Let's read this chapter two and five and six in the um uh New Living Translation. Wealthy wealth is treacherous and the arrogant are never at rest. They open their mouths as a walk as wide as the grave. And like death, they are never satisfied. Who's this talking about? Esau ate him. He's, <coughs> he's arrogant. All right? Arrogant. Proud as hell, man. Okay? All right? He's like it's death, man. All right? And he's never satisfied, man. He's greed. He's greedy. Greedy as hell, man. Okay? That's why it's... Hey. Why you think the 1968 movie, all right, the Planet of the Apes, when that uh, when uh, who I forgot that name of that ape man, they read that uh, what's that, twenty, what's that, twenty ninth, the twenty ninth scroll sixth verse, when it says, "Beware of the beast, man." I might go and get that, all right, because this, hey, that's describing Esau to a T. In their greed, they have gathered up many nations and swallowed many people. That's Esau, man. As these Edomites, mainly the elites, Amalek, okay? But soon their captives will taunt them, all right? Who's in captivity? The Israelites, man. And really the 144,000 going to taunt these damn devils, man, okay? All right? And not just the other nations, all right? Also the other nations, too, because, hey, these other nations are plotting. <laughs> they plotting behind their backs to take this place out, man. That's why you got all these nations that are joining the BRICS nations, man. Okay, they will mock them saying, what sorrow awaits you thieves? Yeah, you devils are thieves. And how was America and all the world's gotten? Through rape, robbery, and murder, man. Okay, now you will get what you deserve. You've become rich by extortion, but how much longer can this go on? Yeah, this is why we asked in the morning, how about she on shot? How long this shit must go on, man? Okay. We tired of this damn devil. We tired of this wicked ass state, man. But hey, this is our punishment, man. Right? Cause this word, all right, heavy debt. I mean, it's not, not heavy debt, but uh, thick clay. All right, which is I button ya. All right, which says weight of pledges, heavy debt. See, America is in heavy debt. Debt that they're not gonna be able to pay back, man. It's over for Babylon. Okay, over. I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to read it here. Habakkuk 2 and 7 in the uh, KJV. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and await thee, like, and await that shall vest thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? Verse 7. Suddenly your debtors will take action. They will turn on you and take all you have while you stand trembling and helpless. All right? That's the elect, the 144,000, man. Okay, because like it says, he that swallowed down riches, he shall vomit them up again. Your house shall cast them out of his belly, man. That's Job chapter 20 and verse 15. All right, which I got that scripture. I just quoted the whole thing, but that's okay. I'm going to get it anyway. I might get it in here. All right. Verse 8, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Because because of men's bloods and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Verse uh, 8 in the, uh, NLT. Because you have plundered many nations, now all the survivors will plunder you. You committed murder throughout the countryside and filled the towns with violence. That's how America was gotten. I got a scripture for that too, man. Let's go to Nahum. Look at that. Nahum 3 and 1. Come on. There you go. Nahum chapter 3 and verse 1. And it reads, Woe to the bloody city. That's the bloody city. America, Babylon the Great. All right. It's talking about ancient Nineveh, but you can also apply this to America as well. Okay. It is all full of lies and robbery, and the prey departed not. Yeah. How this place was gotten. Through lies, rape, robbery, murder. Okay? Alright. Uh, let's 
let's see. What else? Oh, let's get this. Let's go. Yeah, let's get this. I'm going to read this in the NLT. All right. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 15. He's, he has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. Yahweh shall cast them out of his belly. Yeah. You're about to vomit them riches up, man. You're about to give them up, buddy. Because, hey, like it says, the Israelites are going to possess their possessions, man. All right? Edom is going to become a possession, okay? And everything they stole and everything they got is all going to be ours, man. In the kingdom, the gold, the silver, everything, man. It's all going to be ours, okay? So all that gold and silver and things they got stored up, Really, they got that stored up for the Israelites, man. All right? Really, the 144,000 remnant left, man. Okay? So, hey. <laughs> hey. You devils. Look. Y'all through, man. Okay? Now, let's go to Job 20. All right? Job 20. And verse 15. In the good news trans. Not good news translation. God, dog, oh, snock you. Sorry about that. In the New Living Translation, the NLT, snock you. I don't know why I keep saying good news translation for. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Job chapter 20, verse 15, in the New Living Translation, man, the NLT. They will vomit the wealth they swallowed. Woo! Say what? Let's read that again. Who is the they? The Edomites, man. Okay? They gonna have to get that all up, man. <laughs> okay, they will vomit the wealth they swallowed. Yahweh won't let them keep it down. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Like it says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries. Let's get that. Let's get it. All right. It's rock ten and eight, straight to the point. Because of unrighteous dealings. Injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. So the kingdom is being translated from out of Esau's hand into the hands of Jacob, man. Okay? But these those are not going to go down without a fight, man. Oh, let's get this. Yeah, I forgot to read this one. All right? Because it's lined up perfectly with uh, half of the second chapter, what I just got to read, man. All right? Woe to this. It's like, woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled, and dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Yeah. Alright. You devils about to be dealt with, you devils about to be spoiled. Your ass going into captivity pertaining to, uh, what, Jeremiah chapter 13 verse 16? All right, let's read this in the uh, New Name Translation first, then we're going to get that scripture, man. Because, hey, all that wealth you damn devils accumulated, it's all about to come to the Hebrew Israelites, man. Starting with the elect. Okay? All right, let's read this. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. It's going to be you devil's turn to go into captivity, man. All our adversaries, all our enemies, the heathens too, man. The heathens ain't getting a free pass, okay? Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16 in the uh, New Living Translation, the NLT. But all who devour you will be devoured, and your all your enemies will be sent into exile, captivity. All who plunder you will be plundered, and all who attack you, you will be attacked. Yeah. And that's about to take place, man. So, hey, you Edomites, enjoy what's left to your kingdom. Ooh, I got a scripture. Enjoy what's left to your kingdom, man. Let's go to uh, we got that there. Lamentations chapter 4, and let's read verse 21 and verse 22. Okay. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21 and verse 22. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwells in the land of us. Us is talking about America, man. Okay? All right. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Those are being exposed, man. Day in and day out. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. 
He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Yeah. It's your turn to drink that cup, man. All right. Let's get this in the uh, New Living Translation. NLT. All right. Lamentations 4. All right. Let's read this in uh, the NLT. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21 and verse 22. Are you rejoicing in the land of us, O people of Edom? All right. You too must drink, must, uh, yeah, you too must drink from the cup of the Lord Yahweh wrath. Yeah. It's going to be your turn. Hey, we have to drink from the cup of the Lord Yahweh wrath, anger, and wrath. But hey, now the Lord is having mercy on his elect, man, the elect of Israel. Okay. All right, the ones who are repenting and coming back to you, how about shine? The Lord is starting to have mercy upon us again. And the curses, all right, which are not fully off of us yet, we're still under the curses, but they are now slowly going on to our enemies, okay? All right, you too will be stripped naked in your drunkenness. Verse 22, O beautiful Jerusalem, which is talking about the people before a place, the Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And, of course, the scattered Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathen. Okay? Your punishment will end. So our captivity is just about up, man. We're about to get the hell out of this captivity, man. You will soon return from exile. But Edom, your punishment is just beginning. Soon, your many sins will be exposed. And that's happening, man, right now as we speak. Okay? So, hey, it's going to be you either my turn to drink from that cup, man. Hey, we had to drink from it. Okay. Let's go to James chapter 5 and verse 1. Go to now, ye rich man, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Yeah. Verse 2. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Verse 3. Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Yeah, and we're in the last days. So, hey, <laughs> you devils, you have rebuilt treasures for the last days, man. All right, all that wealth you accumulated, all right, it's all going to go to the Hebrew Israelites, man. All right, starting with the elect, man, okay? That wealth is about to be transferred from you Edomites to Jacob when Yahweh Shah comes back. Okay? Verse 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Who are the laborers? The Israelites are, man. Okay? Are we not in captivity under these damn devils? Yeah. All right? Like it says, the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Who's the plowman? The Israelites. And who's the reaper? These Edomites, man. We're the elites, okay? The elites of Edom, okay? All right. Which of you kept by, by fraud, <clears throat> excuse me, kept by by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entering into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, man, the Lord of armies, man, okay? Our cries have gone into the ears of the Lord. How about she on shy, man? <clears throat> That's why the man of the Lord is sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. Okay? All right? Uh, let's see. Verse 5. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts, which means your minds, as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and, do, and he doeth not resist you. Yeah. Who's the just? The Israelites, man. Okay. All right. So all that wealth you accumulated, man, is about to be transferred from out of your hands into the hands of Jacob, man. You devils. Your time is up. Babylon time is up, man. That's why this place is circling down the drain. Okay. Sirachal Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 8. Verse 8. Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten. And who's gotten goods unjustly gotten? These Edomites, man. Okay. All right. How they got them unjust un, got uh how they got them goods and that wealth unjustly gotten? Through rape, robbery, and murder. Okay? All right. 
for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Yeah, it's not going to help you. Okay? It's over for you devils, man. It's over for Babylon the Great America. This place is circling down the drain. Okay? Uh, anything else I got? Mm, nope, that's pretty much it, man. All right? So, Lord, when our prayers and was edifying, all praises and glorifications go to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai. Ba'ashim, Rakak, Wadash, till next time, Shalom, Wam, Kwam, Yashirala, and Wa'ababababal. DTA, Wa'ababababal, Shalom, Wam, till next time.